Hello guys, what is up? In this video I will show you an amazing plugin called Boss Message. Boss Message is an amazing boss bar messaging plugin that gives you full control over the boss bar on your server and it's designed to do very advanced stuff and I will show you how to do all that in this series. So to get started, let's just type slash bm and you will see a list of all the available commands uh, that uh, you can use. But you may think, really, commands, I mean, commands were used ever since Minecraft uh, servers came out and they're boring, they're hard to remember, they're just hard to use in general. So, boss message has a solution for that, which is uh, one single command, which is bm admin gui, that will open up a nice administration gui that has all the features that the commands do, plus way more, and it's very nice to use and that's what I will be using for this series. So you can actually click on the corner to check for an update, but in the center here you'll have five main sections, or maybe more, depends on the version that you're using. So the first section is the auto messenger, which allows you to manage the messages that will appear on the boss bar. Uh, that's what I will show you in this video. Uh, then the broadcasting feature, which allows you to broadcast important announcements on the boss bar and override any existing message, um, which is pretty nice to use. Then the uh, task scheduler, which is similar to broadcasting, but it's designed to set a custom timer on the boss bar, and when the timer is done, it will execute uh, the commands that you set. Uh, it's very nice to use, and I used it on my server when I had one, and I'll show you how to do that later in a different video. So then we have uh, the events section, which allows you to manage the messages that will appear on certain events, such as player join message and stuff like that. Uh, and then finally, last but not least, we got the config. Uh, the config manager allows you to configure boss message from the in-game menu, which is it just makes your life so much easier, because now you don't have to go to the config.yml and do it all manually. So anyways, let's just get started, uh, just click on the auto messenger, and then here you'll have a list of all the available message lists that you have. And a message list is basically a list of messages that you can assign to a specific world or a specific rank or even a player, but I will show you how to do all that uh, uh, later during this video. But for now, let's just click on the one message list that you will have by default, which is the default message list. And here you will see a list of the messages that it contains. So in this version by default you only have 6 messages, uh, but let's add our own, you just click on this add message item, and you will have to type 4 parameters in chat. Uh, the first one being the message itself, which is the text that will appear on the boss bar. Uh, so boss message supports all the color codes plus many many placeholders, uh, it's now over a thousand. Uh, I'll show you how to do all that uh, in a different video, but for now let's just type a simple message such as and be hello world Just like programmers do Then the second parameter will be the boss bar percentage that you want the message to have So it can be either a number from 0 to 100 with 100 being the full boss bar and 0 being the empty boss bar This is about 25 um, or it can be a custom uh, percent variable that I will show you in a different video but for now let's just type a number which is 100 because we want the boss bar to be full like this so then the third parameter is uh, the display time of the message uh, which is basically for how long you want the message to be displayed uh, you have to specify the display time in ticks with 20 ticks being one second so if we type in 100 ticks then the message will be displayed for 5 seconds and then finally, the last parameter is the interval, which is basically the delay between the current and the next message. So if we leave it at zero, then the next message will appear right after the current message disappears. So once we're done entering all four parameters, uh, you will have this uh, new message appeared in the list. And you can actually click on any message uh, to view its parameters. And you can actually click on the parameter to edit it. So, for example, if we want to change the message, uh, for example, to a different color, we can uh, just retype the message here in a different color. Mm, there we go. And then, if you want to change any of these parameters, you can even use an Anvil GUI. So, for example, we want it to have 50%. Uh, 
Oh, not 550. Uh, there. So now the boss bar will only have a half of the health when this message appears. And it's pretty nice to use. And you can actually delete this message. Uh, you can move it around, so like change the order of the messages. Or you can even clone uh, to edit the new copy of the message later. But I will show all that stuff in a different video. I don't think you need to do that right now. It's pretty simple. So anyways, as you can see right now, our message appeared, it's now in a light red color and only has 50% on the boss bar as we changed it. So now we don't like this message and uh, we don't like programmers, we don't like the world. So let's just say goodbye world and delete this message. So just click OK. And there we go, uh, the message list is back to normal and we no longer have the new message. So now once we know how to uh, add and remove messages from an existing message list, let's actually go back and talk about what is that message list and how can you use them. So as I told you earlier, a message list is basically a list of messages that you can assign to a specific world or a specific rank or whatever, but you're probably wondering, how can I do that? Well, it's actually very simple to do and for that all you'll need is any permission managing plugin. I'll use permissions X in this video, but you can use anything you want. So let's actually get started by creating a new message list. So just click on this create item and here you can actually type in the new message list name. So for example, if this was a real server and you wanted to have different messages for your VIPs or donators than from your default players, then you would do something like this. You would just need to create a new message list called donators or you can actually call it whatever you want, it doesn't make a difference. And then just click uh, OK and there you go. You have two message lists now and the new donators message list is empty by default. So to fix that, let's actually add a couple messages to it. And so the first message will be like uh, and be thanks for donating and then 100 100 0 then let's actually add oh let's actually try to copy this message so we have uh, two duplicate messages so now we don't have to retype the whole uh, message uh, with all its four parameters we can actually edit it uh, so let's just type in the new text value which is let's say please donate some more smiley face so there we go uh, it's all good all working but now let's actually take this message list and assign it to ourselves so to do that we have to simply give ourselves the permission boss message dot list dot the name of the list that we created so in this case it's boss message dot list dot donators so let's actually try and doing that with permissions x Uh, uh, boss message dot list dot donators. So once you've done that, you have the permission to see messages from the donators message list. But then we've got the last very important step, which is to take away the permission boss message dot list dot default. And this is a very important step because uh, if you don't remember it, then the two message lists will interfere with each other, and you'll get a buggy boss bar and this is just very important to remember, so just do px user, uh, then your username, uh, then add dash bus bus message dot list dot uh, default. Mm, so I'm just doing it for myself, but you can actually assign these permissions to a certain group or whatever or a certain world so once you've done that uh, for the message list to actually be updated for us we have to either reload the server or uh, rejoin so let's just reload the server and there we go we have the message list from the donators message list and we no longer see the default messages so thank you for watching guys uh, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, please watch my other tutorials and see you next time